Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Just a quick announcement to go ahead and follow me on patreon.com forward slash bow and arrow tarot to uh, be part of the draw for the dreams of Gaio tarot deck giveaway. This is, deck is going to be given away on August 15th by a random draw of all of my patrons over on Patreon. And all I ask for is just $1 a month donation from you all um, on that site to help me be able to um, get more of these tarot decks and oracle decks and do more unboxings and reviews and giveaways, all right? Um, but for right now, thank you so much and on to the video. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing the weekly reading for the sign of Virgo, all right? We're gonna get right into it um, and pull out uh, three oracle cards this week. We're gonna do it a little bit differently, switching up uh, the spread and format for the weekly so that we can um, include a few more readings, a few more scenarios. So we're gonna pull three cards for you this week, Virgo. Trust. Honeymoon. Some of you going on a honeymoon. And past life relationship. Wow. So this is a card that doesn't come out often, right? Past life relationship. Um, there's some cards that, you know, certain periods, certain cards, uh, certain cards come out more often. All right, but we're also going to pull out three animal spirits from the Wild Unknown Oracle deck just to see what kind of animal spirits you're dealing with this week, personality-wise. You may resonate with them, or you may feel that they are uh, descriptive of the person that you're dealing with. Whatever the case may be, let's see what we have. B energy, air energy, all right, beautiful, very creative, otter, otter just came out for Leo, beautiful energy, all right, otter is really lovely, and then we have rabbit, earth energy of rabbit, so, let's see, I think we're going to uh, put the rabbit over here, and we are going to put Honeymoon. Yeah, we'll leave the otter with honeymoon past life relationship with the bee because I, I put the rabbit over trust because the rabbit is a very scary animal. Um, they're always afraid. Okay, so when we're dealing with rabbit energy, um, rabbits are always um, earth energy. They're frightened all the time. They're afraid. They're always nervous. Um, they're always bemoaning their fate, right? Oh, no, somebody's going to cook me. Somebody's going to turn me into a stew. Um, you know what I mean? They're, they're, this is the friend who always talks about how bad they have it, how bad their luck is. Um, oh, with my luck, I'll probably get fired. With my luck, I'll get pulled over. With my luck, this, you know, rabbit energy is very furtive. Um, and they're unable to trust anyone. They're a little bit paranoid. They think everyone is out to get them. Um, it makes me laugh in a way because it is quite, um, a, you know, it's ridiculous to see, you know, when you meet somebody like this, like I'm a Sagittarius and I'm like your typical Sagittarius. I find, you know, I can find a house on fire funny if it's the right house. So, um, you know, rabbits, you know, this energy to me is kind of hysterical. But if you're dealing with somebody like this who has these kind of issues, I mean, I don't want to make any light of it. It can be absolutely exhausting. All right. Now we have a uh, water energy otter. Okay, so water energy otters, beautiful energy. They're happy, go lucky. They are lovable, cuddly. They love to be in love. Otter energy is very emotional, but happy emotions, right? Um, they're very positive, enthusiastic. They, you know, they're just a joy to be around. Um, and if they're, if an otter person is with you, they can make you feel like you're the only person in the world, you know? They can really make you feel wonderful. And they make you feel like you're on a honeymoon all the time, right? So this is why I have them associated with that energy. And then we have the bee energy. And bee is quite interesting because bee energy is very... Um, 
it's air, but it's also very hardworking, very industrious. The bee is also, though, the one that is always trying to be very fair with everyone. He wants everyone to be heard. He's a great peacemaker, the great diplomat. You know, he buzzes from here to there to here to there. He brings the news between people. He's the go-between, right? The bee energy person is the one who talks to everyone. When certain people aren't talking to each other, the one who identifies with this energy, this person is still able to talk to everyone. Everyone. Um, because they're very diplomatic, they're very charismatic, um, you know, and people love them, people love their energy, and being air energy, they're really great at communication, all right? And so, of course, this could be a past life relationship, somebody that you're dealing with who has this beautiful kind of, like, energy. So, we've got uh, earth, water, and air, what you're dealing with this week. No fire on board, but we may find some in the readings. So now we're going to look at a series of three-card readings of different scenarios that Virgos may be going through this week and associated with these three uh, sets of cards. Let's get right into it, Virgo. All right. First spread out. King of Cups. Ten of Pentacles and Four Swords. So right away, yeah, some of you are dealing with a King of Cups. Someone is, King of Cups is somebody who knows what they want, right? Um, this person is, is husband material, right? This person looks for their wife. The King of Cups is looking for his Queen of Cups. Um, he goes after her, right? The King of Cups is about commitment. Not only do they go after what they want, they're extremely protective of their families. They're extremely protective of their mates. Sometimes King of Cups can become quite possessive. Sometimes, right? Um, but certainly some of you are dealing with this. Some of you are dealing with the King of Cups energy. Somebody who wants to lock it down with you. Um, this could indeed be a honeymoon. It could be that somebody wants to take you away. Uh, somebody may want to be getting married with you. Um, because you have Ten of Pentacles. And Ten of Pentacles also talks about having everything, right? Home, health, happy, uh, family, money, love, right? It's the whole shebang. And so that comes, you know, we, it's indicative of marriage and children, uh, legacy, you know, creating a legacy for yourself. Could be that some of you are indeed embarking on a new journey with someone. Four of Swords is there, though, okay? And so that's the stabilization period. So some of you are uh, certainly, I want to say Four of Swords is... Uh, a feeling of wanting to get away. And so this could very well be um, a honeymoon. For instance, you and your partner may decide to be going away together. Because Four of Swords also talks about truce. Uh, Four of Swords talks about retreating to your corner. Um, you know, it talks about um, taking time to strategize. Uh, you know, not being hasty. Getting away from the world, right? And so some of you may may feel like that. May, you may be in a relationship with someone, and I feel like you guys together feel like you want to get away uh, from the world. You can certainly be dealing with an otter energy, somebody who wants to go away with you and enjoy some time um, together with you, right? Away from maybe you guys have some extra stress. Right. So for some of you, a trip could be on the horizon this week or at least discussions about it or a honeymoon, a second honeymoon. Next out, we have Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles and the Hero Fan. So some of you are certainly um, interesting. Some of you are dealing again, honeymoon. Right. But uh, you may not have the money for a honeymoon right now. Okay, here indicates a higher level of commitment. So maybe you guys have gotten married or you're about to get married. But Queen of Pentacles talks about um, protecting your finances, protecting um, the, the, the abundance that you've created, the status that you've created for yourself. Uh, Queen of Pentacles talks about how understanding how hard it is to achieve that. She knows what it takes, but she also knows how to protect it, right? And so um, at times when you need to be more attentive or no, more um, 
supportive in a financial arena, right, so that you can keep your abundance flowing, the Queen of Pentacles comes in to help you find a way. And so for some of you, you're realizing that you're going to have to work a little bit more. You know, maybe, you know, you realize you want to go away with your person. Maybe, like I said, you haven't had the money, but you understand that the way you're going to get there is by working harder, right? Being more disciplined. Eight of Pentacles certainly talks about being more disciplined. Some of you may be dealing with someone where you're requiring them to be a bit more disciplined as well. Um, maybe you're wanting to trust that individual to like knuckle down and get to work. You know, because you're Queen of Pentacles, you're like saying, listen, we need to do this. This is what it takes. Right. So you're trying to support somebody and let them know what it takes to to uh, bring in that abundance. And so you guys could certainly we're here, fan, you could be this could be a young relationship, a new relationship. And again, um, this question may come up for you guys, this conversation, because certainly I think if it's if you haven't had a honeymoon yet, one or either of you are kind of irritated and wanting to get that get the honeymoon right get that trip away ten of swords page of wands and justice so some of you are coming um yeah you're coming through the uh, period of a very difficult you're coming to the end of a very long and difficult period some of you are uh waiting for your divorce papers to come in you're finalizing divorces you're finalizing separations um it's finally over and done with um you know, and uh, I want to say that you're kind of right now, you're just still in the throes of going through that. Perhaps you need to, some of you may be a little bit embodying rabid energy. You may be worrying a little bit too much um, about what's going to happen next. It could be just as a result. You know, some, sometimes we embody rabid energy. We're not always all the time like that or born like that and you know, we'll be, you know, you don't always have to have this kind of energy your whole life, but we all have a little bit of rabbit energy at times when we're going through stressful periods, we become a little bit worried, furtive, we become nervous, we, you know what I mean? And certainly if you're going through a period like that, Virgo, where you're waiting for a divorce or a judgment to come in, it's been a really long struggle, you may be exhibiting a little bit of a need to trust the process a bit more, right? You may be exhibiting a little bit of rabbit energy and being nervous. Trust the process. Hang in there. Page of Wands is in the center to let you know that um, uh, new inspiration is coming in, right? Um, a new, a new, a, a resurgence of your, um, um, I want to say your uh, strength is coming back, right? Their support is coming in. You may be getting a message uh, from somebody who supports you, is letting you know things are going to go your way. Um, new inspiration is coming in as well. New dis new ambition, right? New passion is starting to come in for you. Um, I know that right now you may be feeling very exhausted. Again, you may have been dealing with a rabid type of energy person, which is who you're getting away from, and that may have been feeling very exhausted, uh, may have exhausted you. But this door is closing and a new one is opening, and the Page of Wands is certainly bringing in... Um, the, the uh, option, or I want to say even the promise of a whole new kind of endeavor, something that you're going to feel very uh, passionate about, possibly a new relationship. Wands can certainly indicate a new relationship sometimes, right? And so just hang in there. I think that's, the, that's you know, the message of this spread is to hang in there. Um, your outcome is coming. All right, the Devil, the Hermit card, and Knight of Pentacles. So for some of you, there's a lot of lust. There's a lot of uh, uh, passion going on with your person, right? Devil energy really talks about heated passion, physicality. Um, um, and it's really like... Um, um, it's really intense, right? It's really fiery. But then you have hermit energy coming in. It's quite interesting. So some of you may be dealing with somebody who's not always there, who's not always present. The physicality is there, but maybe sometimes they feel like they're not all there emotionally. Um, and so you're having trust issues. Some of you may be having trust issues with this person. You may be also, again, because of those trust issues, you may be starting to exhibit rabid energy, like worrying and things like that. Um, if that's the case, you should just have a conversation with them. 
all right? If you feel like your person is starting to pull away from you, but you're really feeling such high, intense passion, it's like you guys are at odds with your energy and you really need to talk about it. Um, Knight of Pentacles is coming in as well. It could be that either one of you or your person has an opportunity coming in and this is why they're pulling away from you because uh, some opportunity is coming into their life and they want to think about it. They're not really sure how to talk to you about it. Um, right. Uh, or it could be that you have an opportunity coming in and somebody has been very like passionate and physical with you. And you've been feeling like, look, I, you know, I'm not sure if I want this right now. I want to, you know, you've been wanting to pull back because there's other possibilities coming in and you're not really sure just yet. Um, which way you want to go, right? You're not sure if you want to go with this passionate kind of individual here, right? Um, there's another opportunity coming in that's taken really a long time. Knight of Pentacles takes a long time, and it's usually to do with wealth and abundance, but it could also be tied to another individual or just another, you know, just another option in your life that you're just not sure if you can have both of them, and so right now you're just really needing to pull back. We have the Emperor coming out and Knight of Wands and Nine of Cups. Emperor's been, Aries energy has been coming out for a couple of these readings. So Emperor energy, Knight of Wands and Nine of Cups. Interesting. So some of you um, are certainly wanting to move forward um, with a relationship. You're wanting to take it to the next level, right? Knight of Wands can indicate wanting, you know, uh, pushing through with your desires, right? Pushing through with what you, what you have um, in your sights, right? So in terms of a relationship, in terms of stability in a relationship, you're pushing forward with that. Uh, some of you may be dealing with uh, someone who is quite Aries energy, quite Emperor energy. They, they may be quite stubborn, um, and so you're having a lot of difficulty getting them to where you want to be. And you know what I mean? And so you're feeling like you're having to do all of the forward momentum. You're the Knight of Wands. Um, although Aries energy is very fiery and forward moving right now, this person feels kind of like they're not coming towards you the way, the same way you're going towards them. It could be. Right. And so for some of you, you're having nine of cups right now. So nine of cups is like you want a wish fulfillment. There's a certain desire you have. Right. Um, but it's still kind of like uh, lacking. Right. Um, nine of cups also talks about having gotten a lot of wishes, having attained a lot of things in life and still feeling like something is missing. Um, perhaps some of you have had a very happy life in terms of relationships and things like that. But again, it just feels like it's just never been quite fulfilling, right? And so this one wish that you have is really truly to be fulfilled. You know, Nine of Cups talks about um, this one wish fulfillment um, that is like the one, the one and all, the main wish fulfillment. Because up until now, all of the other ones haven't really quite been completely satisfying. Um, a lot of the admonishment of the nine cards is just understanding how uh, we are a solitariness, being alone, and the understanding of uh, needing to share, needing to really give yourself 100% to a relationship, right? And so with Nine of Cups, it's like an awakening where like, yeah, you, you've gotten everything you've always wished for, um, but you're still not happy because you never really got that true connection that you want for various reasons, one of which is that maybe you never really gave it your 100%. Um, whatever the case may be, regardless of all the happy relationships you've had, something has still been quite missing. And so it could be that now you are feeling like you are reliving a past life relationship, right? This person could be coming in towards you or you be, could be feeling like you want to be moving towards them, Virgo. But there's a magnetism happening here between the Emperor and the Knight of Wands. You know, one is moving towards the other, right? And it's like, huh. You know, one is not moving, one is moving. It could be that you guys are also uh, dealing with someone in between who may be a go-between to make this happen, right? I don't know, this relationship is strange. It feels like it need, it's it's a meant to be relationship, but there's a stalling. There's, a, there's something going on here where the energies aren't quite on the same uh, 
at the same place that they need to be for the connection to happen, although there's a definite connection here, right? So if you resonate with that, you'll know what I'm talking about. And I think in this situation, you're going to need to rely on friends, uh, certainly friends who are like that B energy to help you out here. Sometimes you need a friend to help you out in that matchmaking scenario, right? Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles, and the Lovers. Again, somebody's got someone coming in and just really sweeping them off their feet. And um, it's like they're coming in fresh and they're also offering like support, right? They're offering you support. They're offering you a bit of like um, the possibility of a bit of abundance. So this is a scenario where somebody comes in and it's like, listen, I love you. I want you. And I can also take care of you. I have, you know, I have a token. To, you know what I mean? I have abundance. I have money. I'm going to sweep you off your feet. I want to take you off and travel with you, you know, because here you have love and Knight of Cups coming in also with that page of pentacles indicating a token of a possible abundance coming in or a message or offer of a possible abundance coming in. And where's the relationship heading to lovers? So a couple of you Virgos are really hooking up with a true kind of like wow this person is really sweeping you off your feet you're you know like a couple of you and i'm not even going to say a lot of you because this is a rare occurrence but maybe one or two of you out there are going to have one of these like love if like love at first sight whirlwind relationships romances where you meet somebody within a couple months you're going to be engaged married and they're going to whisk you off you know, to this wonderful life. Just a couple of you are going to get this. And I think it'll be a case of this is, was a past life relationship. And now you guys are coming together and having this really wonderful life this time around. That was a pretty, like, nice little message to come in for a couple of you. All right. And three of cups, page of swords, queen of cups. So some of you are dealing with trust issues, of course, right? Three of Cups, and it could be that you're also dealing with a rabid energy person, somebody who's being really nervous and anxious because they're about to get caught, right? Page of Swords talks about um, information coming in, a message, a meeting. You may talk to someone, right? There's some kind of clarity that comes in as a result of meeting with somebody, right, where you get some understanding um, and you find out some stuff, right? Um, and I think, and there you are, Queen of Cups, and it's like you go into very much like you're like, um, you're above it all, right? You take the high road here. You know, you're like, oh, really? Oh, this is what you're going to do? Okay, guess what? And you turn your back on all of them, right? I want to say that, yeah, this is probably hurtful. It's always hurtful to have three-party uh, three energy, but whoever did this to you didn't realize that uh, you were so above this that... Um, you, you're not, you're not hurting, you know, you're not aching, you're not bleeding, you're not crying. You're like, oh, okay, see you. And you're turning your back on them and immediately look towards the future. Interesting. Great. Good for you. I hope, I hope somebody out there certainly does that. We need more of that. Knight of Swords, Eight of Cups, and Strength card. So for some of you, um, someone is coming into you very strongly someone's coming towards you very strongly and you are turning your back on them you've had enough of them they may be coming in like the knight in shining armor here with the king of swords they're coming in you know with this attitude of being very honest and kind of like wanting to have this conversation with you but you are turning your back on them you've had enough of their antics right you want a deeper relationship and you're done it's like this person has crossed too many boundaries and borders with you Eight of Cups talks about setting up boundaries with people, right? Quite criteria, uh, standards, requirements that people have to, basic requirements that people have to fulfill in order to get close to you. Basic requirements that we should all have for ourselves. You know, they're personal to you, but everyone should have a basic set of requirements for someone that they allow to get close to them. You know, you wouldn't just let anybody off the street be your boyfriend or your girlfriend. You know, whether we know it or not, we already have a basic set of uh, standards, but we don't really consciously think, really think about it. And a lot of times we let people cross those boundaries or we take people before they fulfill, fulfill the criteria that we really require, right? And so here in Eight of Cups, you've learned that and you realize that and you're putting up these boundaries and it's going to take a lot of strength. The strength card is here. It's going to take a lot of strength because your pride is going to be tested. Your passion is going to be tested. Your resolve is going to be tested. 
All right. Um, yeah, this is going to be tricky for you, but hang in there because this talks about like, you know, trusting yourself as well. Trusting what you have decided for yourself, right? Don't be afraid, especially when this person comes sh running back in like they usually do. This is probably their MO. Um, they probably do this a lot with you, Virgo. Just stand strong. You know, it's taken a while for you to get to this Eight of Cups. And so, yeah, of course, strength is needed. It's not going to be easy, you know. We never say that... Um, Changing things is easy. Changing things in your life and putting boundaries in place and saying no to people who are used to hearing you say yes, it's never easy, right? But it's worth it. All right, and this is it. I'm going to call it. This is your reading, your various scenarios for the week in love and relationships, Virgo, according to your animal spirits and your romance angel oracle cards that we pulled uh, for this August 4th to 11th. Let me know what you think of this new setup. How do you like the spread? Has any of this resonated with you? Sound off below. Give me a like or subscribe. Um, help me grow my channel, all right? And uh, I'm just going to say I love you so much, guys. Virgos, you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.